Yo, what's up boys? It's Ojoys coming at you with another Valorant video and in today's video we're going to be going over how to play Cypher. So I really like Cypher. I yeah, I'm kind of addicted to this game honestly, but I really like Cypher and I figured I'd share some tips on how to use him because I see people misusing him a lot and picking him faster than I do. Anyhow, let's get right into it. All right guys, so starting off with the first tip, you want to be looking around in the surrounding environment to see any rounded objects nearby. Putting your trap wires on these objects allows you to get weird off angles on your trap wires that people simply don't expect. And this allows you to trap them and reveal them very, very easily. So if you are waiting for rotate from B to A, then if you, for example, here, trap and mark it, then you can catch people off guard and they'll be weirded out. They're like, how did I get trapped? Sometimes they peek you and you should just know that you can see them through walls. You can see when they turn away to shoot it. Just peek them as soon as they turn away. Moving on to the next tip, this is actually a new way to play Cypher on defense. So what I like to do is I like to put utility down on both sides. If you pay attention, you have about 20 seconds at the beginning of each buy phase. If you buy your stuff and quickly rotate to one side, then you can plant important utility before rotating to the other side. In some cases, enemies will try to rotate off of the site that the Cypher's on and rotate to a less protected site. But if you have utility on both sites, then they can't rotate to a less protected site. Additionally, if you're just trying to hold them off until you get there for the rotate, it's super easy with your cages. Honestly, it's crazy. And moving on to the next tip, we have a new way to use trap wires. So, what I like to do when I'm using trap wires is I like to place them down in places where enemies don't have to go if I'm on defense. So, if there's a cubby where they can get a cheeky little peek onto a site, I put a trap wire in that cubby. And they'll always go there and try to seek safety. But when they're trapped, for some reason they freak out and it scares them and they just don't know what to do. This next one is going to be for your cages. So basically what you want to do with your cages is you want to put them in major choke points. Now with cages, when enemies enter, it makes a little zapping sound and the cage turns more blue and yellow than it was before. If you notice, cages normally flash a little bit blue slash yellow over top of the white. But if you put down a cage and an enemy enters it, then you actually get a basically yellow cage for a second. So this one's a little bit self-explanatory, but basically once you're set up on a site, you probably should have a camera either on another site or watching a site lane that you wouldn't normally be peeking. Or you could have a camera positioned so that it can see two lines of sight so that you know if they're pushing. And finally, if you haven't used both of your trap wires by the time you get to a site, honestly, just completely block off the site. There's absolutely no reason that you need to let them push on to the, that you need to let them, there's absolutely no reason that you need to let them push onto the spike and defuse or even challenge you for that matter. If you can just hold them off by completely blocking them off with abilities, this can be done with cages and with trap wires. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And please make sure to comment who you want to see next down in the comments below. And 
please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, that's all for me today, boys. I'm out. Peace. I already got a kill. Yes! No, 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 they got a red! <laughs> I got a kill. Dude! Oh my god.